This Correctional Services is appealing the judgment uh, setting aside former President Jacob Zuma's medical parole. The court declared the parole unlawful and it has thus ordered Zuma to return to jail to complete his 15-month jail term. While well, the former president has also indicated that he will apply for leave to appeal that decision. So let's get some uh, latest uh, now from spokesperson of the Jacob Zuma Foundation, Mr. Mzonele Manyi. Mr. Manyi, thank you for your time this morning and good morning to you. Um, let's talk about, you know, the reaction of the Jacob Zuma Foundation uh, about this judgment. Uh, good morning to and good morning to your uh, viewership. Um, indeed, uh, his excellent president Zuma and his lawyers have come to a, a firm conclusion to appeal this judgment. And because we don't have time, they've got a plethora of grounds for this. But because we don't have time, I'll just restrict it to, to just four. The one is the local standard of the applicants. They are arguing that uh, these applicants have just woken up from the grass uh, and so on. They've got no local standing. In fact, they are driven by political motives and all kinds of racist intentions. As you can imagine, all the applicants are right wing groups, as it were. And they also argue uh, that uh, the law, the, the court itself, did not apply the law appropriately. What that means, the lawyers can explain. Number two. This judgment is based on the incorrect section of the law. This judge, actually, a very funny thing here, Dumelo, the law is very clear that when an offender or a person incarcerated is going to have a sentence of 24 months or less, mm. the competence is vested in the commissioner to make the decision. Uh, but if a person is, is incarcerated for more than 24 months, then a different section applies, section 79. When this is pointed out to the judge that, you know, the commissioner acted within his power in terms of Section 75, and he says, no, that has got no merit. How can it, doesn't, how can it not have merit when it's actually the law uh, that says so? So he amends the law in loco just to be able to get to uh, where he wants to get to. Thirdly, uh, the, the lawyers have argued as well that in terms of Section 39, subsection 2 of the Constitution, when there is some kind of... Uh, a, a different interpretation of the statutes. Mm. What must prevail is that which seeks to affirm the constitutional rights of a person as enshrined in the Bill of Rights. And when they do that, uh, and, and, and this, uh, and, and when, when, when the commissioner took this decision, that's what he did. He looked mm. at what is in the best interest in terms of that. But this judge has got a problem with that. Lastly, the correctional services is on record in saying. The very reason why His Excellency President Zuma was in that military hospital is because they don't have the wherewithal in the prison to look after him uh, in order to preserve his life. Uh, and now you have a judgment that says go back to jail. Basically, what this judge has ordered is a death sentence of President Zuma. He's saying go to where there is nothing to look after you. This is a death sentence. So we see this judgment as very cruel. We see this judgment as very cold. We see this judgment as very vindictive. So we are very dismayed about this, but we are not surprised, uh, as it were, because indeed the North Houghton High Court, it looks like there's a, an executive decision there that anything involving President Zuma, he must lose. Everything involving Ramaphosa, he must win. So it's almost like everybody knows that's the currency of the court. So indeed, we have a, a judiciary in this country. Uh, that must be looked at. In fact, Chief Justice Mukwing had warned about this, that it cannot be that we have a situation that when, depending on who is in the dock, uh, therefore, the judgment is, can be even predictable, predictable as it were. So it looks like we've come to that situation. South Africa is very fast sliding right. into a banana republic. Yes. So, so, so this is a very, it's a, it's a great concern and in fact, it's an assault to the constitutional democracy. Right. Uh, there have been quite a, a number of criticism when it comes to the former president's health. And I, I know that uh, Jacob, the former president, Jacob Zuma's uh, lawyers, have also uh, been uh, appealing this, or rather questioning this, and counter, uh, countering this uh, notion that because he's been uh, seeing and cited at various you know, places, uh, one particular casino in Kezarin being in instance, um, I know that as a foundation, also as his lawyers, your counter argument uh, would be that that cannot be used uh, based on a newspaper article, uh, that because he is seen out and about, that then his condition, his medical condition, then cannot come into questioning. Of course. I mean, if you look at an example, Colin Powell, 
who would have known that Colin Powell has got uh, some sophisticated cancer, which is a terminal disease, and that the guy was up and about doing a whole range of things. So, I mean, I mean, until the last days, I didn't know that even the clerk was so sick uh, as it were, and he did a virtual uh, thing before he, before he passed on. Uh, but we have a situation here where President Zuma, because he did a virtual meeting, uh, that's used against him. Uh, as if now when you have a terminal illness, you can't even walk. I mean, that's just ridiculous. This is what we have. So we, we really have a problem in this country, and we think that, uh, that more should be done to educate people that when you have terminal illness, it doesn't mean you walk with your stomach. You can still walk, uh, but you have this condition that uh, mm. you're not going to live forever. Yes. With that being said, Mr. Manye, how is the former president doing uh, so far, uh, health-wise? Is he in good spirits? And also, how did he receive the news upon you know, the announcement of the judgment? No, his extended president, Zuma, continues to battle with his, uh, disease, with his uh, uh, illnesses, as it were. Uh, but uh, he tries to uh, pretend that everything is fine. But truth of the matter is that those that know him and know him very well, they know that, that uh, not everything is where it should be. As the party continues to put a bright face, uh, because indeed as a breadwinner, you've got to always show strength and give support and confidence to those that are around you. So he continues to do that. But truth of the mm -hmm. matter is that the man is simply not well. And before I let you go, then the clarity being that he will be appealing this judgment. Definitely he will be appealing. He will go to the ends of the earth to achieve justice. So indeed, it's going to appeal. Well, they already will file uh, for, 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 for leave to appeal. So we'll go to the ends of the earth uh, to get President Zuma justice. Uh, yeah, we, we'll, we'll stop at nothing. All right, we leave it there. And I appreciate your time this morning, particularly on this uh, holiday, for speaking to us. That's the Jacob Zuma Foundation spokesperson, Mr. Mzonelemai.